So I'm going to show how the goods receipt and invoice receipt and the goods issues are going to impact our moving average and also when do we get a price difference when using moving average. I'm going to buy 10 shares for 10 USD each. And as you see, the document is okay. So now I'm going to post and the material document has been created. We have a goods receipt and the unit is pieces changed to inventory as 10. So the moving average price now is 100 over 10, which is 10 USD. And instead of having an invoice value that's equal to the goods receipt value, I'm going to make it more. So the invoice value is going to be 120 USD. This is the invoice receipt changed to total inventory quantity is zero because this is not a goods receipt. We only invoice it and the value change is 20. So the new price is 12 USD per share. The quantity is going to be also 10 shares and the price is 10. Okay, and check then post. We have another goods receipt, as you see, also for 10 units. New price is 11 USD per share. Now I'm going to decrease the inventory quantity by 18 units and our moving average price is 11. So this is going to be the value of the goods issue. We have a goods issue for cost center. Changes to inventory is negative 18. Value change is negative 198 price of the movement is 11 per one share and total stock remaining is 2 and the moving average price is 11 which is the same as before the goods issue and instead of having an invoice value that's equal to the goods receipt value I'm going to make it more so the invoice value is going to be 120 USD now we have the invoice this is the object and then we have changes to inventory is 0 value change is only four so as i explained in the presentation only four of the of the difference in the invoice value is going to go to the stock and the remaining will be posted to an expense account which is the price difference account so now the total value is 226 over 2 which is 13 usd